Letters. Ray to Cheryl. July 22nd, 1945. From Arizona, Ray writes. My little sugar plum. Just exactly what did you have to bring up Bertha in the first place? Now you've got me completely mixed up. At first I thought she was a woman that worked at the bank. The way it looks now, she's an employed fan dancer who wears only a babushka. You do meet such quaint people, darling. After my emotional outburst, I'm once again the same sensible person as of previous years. Don't you think I was corny? Went to town last night and saw a re-showing of Hell's Angels. Guess who the heroes were? None other than the Rutledge boys, Monty and Ray. You Rutledges get around, eh, kid? Jean Harlow is in it, too. She wore very little, and that was flapping in the breeze. To me, she didn't seem to have too much on the ball. <clears throat> have you had a birthday yet that you didn't receive at least one nail polish set? They seem to be standard equipment for birthdays. Never say never shall you... Never say never shall you receive a nail polish set from me. You're talking about my murdering you inspired me to great heights. I'm going to write a short play about it. Act one is finished. I'm sending it on. I'm sort of dull. To, it's sort of dull to start off, but act two gets more lovely. You'll get act two in the next letter. It ain't finished yet. Hey, those cactuses, cacti, beats me, were insured for safe delivery. We was robbed. The U.S. mail must be going to the dogs. Your steadying influence has taken its toll on me. I'm struggling through Valley of Decision now, not even a petty crime in it. Did read a good murder mystery before I started. V of D, though. Three short beers, more murdered midgets. Oh, gee whiz. Only a lowdown, no good, so-and-so would go around murdering female midgets. Sounds like a swell collection of records you got. Bill has good musical taste, especially Laura. It fascinates me. You fascinate me, too. How did you manage to eat all that stuff in one day? No wonder you had to main. You asked, who's got $500? That's an excellent question. Well put, too. However, it's quite foolish. No one has that much money. Been thinking it over, and I've decided your idea is best. I'll try and get everything paid up as soon as possible. Might be able to swing it in seven or eight months. Would you mind if I sent Rosho half a dozen red and yellow candles? I'd like to do something nice like that for him. Hey, I like S. Rutledge. Doggone nearly any way there is. You look like you. And that's not bad. Did you get the sconce thing for Mabel yet? I'll work on getting that picture taken. However, usually they don't turn out so hot. Don't worry about anything for my birthday. I don't like to be reminded of my increasing age. Just wrap up a kiss and send it. Went swimming this morning and decided that I must be smoking too much. Also ran around the track a couple of times. Don't worry, though. I'll be able to walk by Wednesday. Just a banana is very good. From hitherto onward, I'm just ignoring. And cracks about HS Charlie, so there. So were you... So how were you last week? This is a delicate subject for me to write about. I'm just worried about those angels singing. Let me know, huh? Better chug along so I can get this in the 1630 mail. So long, honey. Be seeing you. All my love, Ray.